All right, so for this video right here, we are going to be doing our lesson six random numbers, and this is the assessment or level seven. And for this video right here, Alexis is working on a program to draw a rainbow snake that wiggles each time it's run. She started the program, but needs to help finishing it. All right, so let's see what the heck it means by making a snake wiggle. So we're running it, and you see how we got the circles right here? The, the, the first one seems like it's staying right where it is. Um, but the, um, no, actually the first one's moving too, but all, all, so all, we got all this, all the circles moving around. So it can, looks kind of neat, and it does look like it's kind of wiggling if you um, run it quick enough. All right, so let's see what it wants us to do. Run the program several times to see how the starter code works. So let's see what's going to happen here. So we, the first thing the code's doing is making the black ground, um, black ground sky blue. So we run, and we see that the black ground background is sky blue. Next thing is happening here is that it's going to be filling the shape red. So we can see that the first circle is red. So that's what's happening is filling that shape red. The ellipse. The ellipse right here, so we're making a circle now. And it's starting, X is starting at 100. And then it's randomizing this um, the Y section. So the X is staying the same, but Y is being randomized between 190 and 210. And then the size and the, the height and the width of the ellipse are staying the same as well. And then if we take a look at the second circle, that's still that's filled orange now. The ellipse now is at location, X location of 140. And we still have the same randomized number of 190 and 210. And we still have the 50 and 50, so the height and width not changing. The third circle is now yellow, and the ellipse is 180. So we're going from X location to 100, to 140, to 180, and the randomization numbers aren't changing. It's between 190 and 210 with a height and width of 50. Hmm. Looking pretty good. So the next thing, since we want to go ahead and do this, Let's see, are we able to copy this? Hit Control C, and then maybe paste it underneath. Is that possible? Let's find out. Yes, we can. All right, so let's go ahead and now we're gonna go ahead and change this circle right here. So add at least three different colored circles. So, so we need some three different circles. So let's see here, so we got this right here. Can we bring this a little bit further down? All right, so we're going to change this circle um, color from that. We've got red, green, blue. We've got red, orange, yellow. And if you remember, one of the colors that they allowed us to use was tomato. Tomato. So let's see if tomato still works as a color. And now we know the X needs to um, change. So we've got 100, 140, 180. So if it's changing by 40, so let's make this 220. And let's see what happens. 220. And then let's run it and see where it goes. Okay, so we've got that. All right, so that works. So we've added a second one. All right, so now what y'all need to do is go ahead and use the same setup and change it and add two more circles to the mix. All right, and once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and click on Finish. And that's going to bring us up to one, two, three, four, five, six challenges that need to be completed. All right. And give me just one second. All right. And for this section right here, we are doing our challenges for the random number. We're going to start with our um, random RGB. All that means is red, green, blue. So we're going to go ahead and click on A. And we're going to do some rainbow things here. All right, so for this one, and we want to go ahead and start over. All right, so for this one, let's go ahead and take a look what they want us to do. So this level uses RGB, or red, green, blue block, um, to set the colors of the rainbow. Since RGB blocks use red, green, blue numerical values, it means we can use the random number colors Hint, you will need three random number blocks to generate one color. All right, so we're going to need three random generate. Um, so for each one of these, we're going to need three, um, three of these random generator blocks. Okay, so update the background 
um, to be a random color. Update each arc of the rainbow to a random color. Update the ground um, to a random color. So what I'm hearing here is if we take a look at this, the background is going to be RGB, and that's between five, um, five, five, and five fifty-five and one two fifty-five. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, give me one second here. All right, so for um, using a quick Google search, we can go ahead and we can search what is the range we can use for RGB models. And it's telling us that we can go from 0 to 255. So those are the, num the numbers we want to go ahead and generate random code um, between. So let's go ahead and go back to our um, location. And now what we can do is now that we know that our RGB can be between uh, 0 and 255, we need to change each one of these colors. And let's see here. So um, let's start with number 1. Update the background to be a random color. So let's find a background. Here's a background and it's set at 555 and 255. We want to go to our math drawer, pull out a random number here, pull it out here, and then we also want to put it here. And then what we want to do is we want to change this from 1 to 0 and then we want to go to 55 and we want to 0, 255, tab, 0, 255. So now let's go ahead and run it and see what happens to the background. And so it's looking like here's the background right here. So hit reset and the background is coming up with different colors every time we click it. So it looks like our background is working um, that it's got um, random colors. Update each arc of the rainbow to a random color. Well, now that you all know how to do the background, you're able to go through and update each arc. And then the third one is going to be update the ground. Well, I showed you how to update the background. So now you can, again, I'll use that knowledge and apply it to the ground right here as well. All right. So that should get you all through the first one. And once you're done with it, make sure to click on finish. And now what you're going to do now is go to the, um, the symmetry. And you're going to go ahead and complete this one. All right, so for this assignment, we are doing symmetry. So we have learned how to randomize things. And um, for this drawing right here is we want to go ahead and let's see what they want us to do. So this drawing's red spots are placed randomly, but the second spot is always the same distance um, from the right side of the screen as the first spot is from the left. So let's try to replicate this effect for this second and third spot. All right, so what is this telling us to do? So the first thing what we need to do is we need to read the code to see how the first spot is drawn. So if we click show me where, and it brings us down here, and this is draw the first spot. So let's see how they're drawing the first spot. So they're doing a variable and they're calling it spot one. And the spot one is randomized, so it's a random number between 90 and 155, and that's our X and Y location. And then it's gonna fill it red. And then the ellipse, is going to be so they're doing the x location here and so this is going to be your x location which is your variable and it's, that's going to be between 155 and 90 and so that's going to be your um that's going to be your variable that's going to be your x location here and the y location and the sizes are always the same now for the second ellipse it's still going to fill it red and it's going to take 400 now remember 400 is all the way over here and we're gonna subtract um, the spot one from 400. So whatever this spot right here is, it's going to subtract it from 400 and that's gonna generate the new spot. So for the second spot, so if we reset it, the second spot's over here. So for the second spot, we should have this very similar code up as to up here. So we've got second spot and this is a random number of between 60 and 165. So it's a difference um, between the X locations, 90 and 60, and this is 155 to 165. They're gonna fill that spot yellow, and the spot number two is going to be, so if we look at spot number two, and this is spot number two right here. All right, so we're, we're missing here is we're mixing the second ellipse. So we, they're giving us the first circle here, but they're not giving us the second circle over here. So what we want to do 
is we've got, we've got two ellipses here, but we've got one ellipse here. So we're going to copy this ellipse right here. Control copy. We're going to go right here. We're going to hit enter. Nope. We're going to go backspace. So we're going to go under this ellipse right here. Hit control V. And then we're going to move it right there. So this is going to uh, giving us our second ellipse. But we want to make sure that these, if we look at this ellipse right here, the, the spot number one, 240 and 240 is lined up, 25 and 25 lined up, 25 and 25 lined up. So we want to change this right here to 240. And we want to keep, instead of spot one, we want this to be spot two. So now let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Reset, run. And so now we've looks pretty good here. But now what's happening is that this location, this Y location, is, is really low. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what happened here. All right, so let's go ahead and start over with this. So we've got this reset. And so we know where our, um, so we're, we're doing for the spot number two. And we've got it yellow. So we want this ellipse right here. So we want a second ellipse. So we're going to go ahead and grab a second ellipse. And we're going to drop it right underneath here. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to then take a look at how this ellipse is made. So we're, we want this ellipse right here. In starting, we want it to be um, exactly where this one is right here. So we're going to do spot two. And we're going to type this 140. We're going to type a 20 and 20. And so this should give us two ellipses, um, one over the other. And let's verify this is right by moving this ellipse right here. Let's do the 400 minus and see what happens. All right. So, so what I did here is first thing we did is we made the, our second ellipse. We pulled it from right here. We dropped it right here. Then we go ahead, went ahead and copied the first ellipse, all the variables for the first uh, first ellipse, the x location, the y location, the height, and the width. Then what we did is the second step is to transpose it, to bring it from this side to this side. And the way we did that is we started with 400 and we subtracted whatever the spot 2 is. And that's how it gives us the location for the um, reflection over here. All right, so your job now is to go ahead and add a third um, button, and you're gonna you're gonna add the third spot, and it's um, anywhere in the wings, and you're gonna then go ahead and make the reflection as well. All right, and then once you're done with that, that'll finish off this.